Hey guys, so today I am doing my first palette declutter and I'm definitely going to split this into two. So if you haven't seen my previous palette declutter videos, basically this drawer here is full, well it's supposed to be full of my more neutral toned shadows. Whereas the one underneath, which you'll see in the next video, is more colorful eyeshadows. So basically today we're going through all of my neutral palettes and then the next one will be my more fun like colorful ones. And I think the drawers are a little bit mixed up. So we may find some like colorful palettes up here. We may find some neutral ones in the next video, but I'll just kind of like organize them as we go in this two part series. So I have all of these up here and I also have a bunch on the floor. So I think what I'm gonna do is just like remove everything. Um, fast forward it so you get your nice little fast forward motion sounds. And then I am going to refilter them back in and show you my collection and show you what I'm gonna keep and what I'm going to get rid of or donate. So let's begin. Oh my gosh, back here I found my other Pro Glow palette. I was wondering where this went to. Um, so straight off the bat, I'm gonna keep this and I might put it at my beach house because it's one of my favorite contour palettes. And I had a second one that I was gonna like donate or whatever, but then I couldn't find this one. So I ended up like, you know, dipping into the new one. So I thought I'd like left it somewhere, but there you go. It was just hiding at the very back of this friggin' drawer. Classic. So I literally don't even know where to begin with this. I think I might just like start by wiping down this bench a little. Like, I mean, not bench, what do you call it, drawer? Let me fast forward this bit too. Okay, I could definitely clean this better, but I'm sick of it. I just want to dive into the palettes. It looks better. That's all that matters. So, first of all, we have this BH Cosmetics um, Bub's Beauty Palette, which I think I'll donate because I don't think this is, like, around anymore. It's a beautiful palette, but we are going to be cut through it in this video. I say that every time, but really, you guys saw how many palettes were at the beginning of this. And there's only so many neutral palettes I can use, and so many of these are real old as well and, like, discontinued and stuff. So I really need to try and just, like, be a little bit cutthroat. I want to really have this nice and tidy so I can filter through the palettes easy. Because at the moment, as you guys saw, like, I had my friggin' highlighter palette hiding back there. I didn't even know, like, because everything's just so stacked up and I hate it. So I have the Kylie Bronze palette. This is, like, the one that she reinvented um, off the other palette, which is... Okay, honestly, I can't find it right now. But you guys know, like, the original bronze palette that came like this. So I'll keep this, and if I find the bronze one, which it might be, like, down below or something, I will, um, yeah, declutter that. But I want to keep that one. So we're just going to pop that back there. Can you even see? Yep. Um, and then I've also got the burgundy palette. This is beautiful. I'm just going to keep it open because I feel like... I've got a lot of other palettes that are like that kind of color scheme. And then this one, I actually just tried for the first time today. It's the Halloween collection one. I feel like this is a little bit more colorful-ish. It was kind of neutral. I don't know. Do you guys think this should be in like the colorful drawer or the not colorful drawer, <laughs> neutral drawer? I don't know. I might put it in the colorful drawer down below. I have some like Kat Von D palettes and stuff, which I'm going to donate because I don't really use that stuff on here anymore. Like Shane Light eye palettes and stuff like that. I have the Ciate Chloe Morello palettes, which is so pretty. I think this is the first one. Is that the first one? And then, oh, why well, can't I open it? This one as well. Oh wait, no, that one might be the second one. I don't know. I think I'm going, should I keep, I don't know. I want to keep both, but I feel like I should just keep one. I can't remember which is the original. Oh wait, this one's a volume two. So this is the newest one. So I might keep this one and then donate this one, even though it's so freaking beautiful. Like I love it, but you probably can't even get it anymore. I'm definitely keeping my naked palette. I have heard rumors that they're discontinuing. Oh my God, look, you can see me. I've got my hair tied up like a little boy. I've heard rumors that this is getting discontinued and I just love this thing. It's like by far my favorite naked palette out of all of them, so. I'm going to keep it and I'll just kind of like, you know, even though it's super old, like it still works really well. I should really be chucking it, but I just, I don't want to. I have this Shayla Colourpop Perception palette, which I feel like um, is limited edition as well. I might donate that one. I've only used it once. I liked it. 
but it's not like something that blows me away if you know what I mean and there are so many Colourpop palettes I love that I think a bit of my skin tone I feel like this is so good for people with medium and deeper skin tones but for me like there's not a lot of the colours in there that I would just use like you know for a complete look like if you compared it to this palette which is my favorite color pop one for my personal skin tone i think i love you is what it's called and oh god look i smashed one um there's more colors in this particular palette that i would use for a complete look so i'll definitely keep this one even though i'm not sure if you can get it anymore it's just like my favorite so i just have to keep it for my own personal use it doesn't even want to focus, does it? Classic. Ugh, I'm trying to like manually do it, but my camera's so far away. There you go. It's so pretty. I love it. So that's going to stay also. I'm just going to put the bigger palettes at the back. These colors I love, but I think I'm going to de-pop them. Like, because you can pop them in. Blah, blah. I can't talk. You can pop them out of this palette. As you can see, one broke as well. So I'll probably have to throw that one out or repress it or something. This is the Saucy palette. Um, and it's beautiful, but it's just such huge packaging. So... I'm going to put that to the side and chuck it in a Z palette. We've got my Shinixo palette, which goes without saying. If you haven't seen it before, I don't know where you've been. <laughs> because I show it all the time on my channel. It's double-sided, so that's one side. And then that's the other side. So it's just really good. I, like, I take that with me all the time when I travel because it's got everything I could need. This is definitely in the wrong drawer. This is like neon. Look at that. So that's going to go below. I have this Violet Voss Pro palette. These eyeshadows are really nice, but the colors just don't scream at me, so I'll declutter that one. This is my favorite Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I honestly wish they would do a round two with Amrezy. This palette is life. Every single color is just so stunning. Actually, I don't think I've used Emerald before, but every other color I've used, and it's just like amazing. I still travel with it sometimes. It's quite old, but it's still staying because once again, it's like a holy grail of mine. What's this? I've got a tart one here. This is called the Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. Oh, okay. I might declutter that. I can't imagine myself using that very much. Got a whole lot of like Anastasia Billy Hills palettes. I'm just gonna stack them up and go through them at the end. Look, there's more and more and more. There's so many. This right here is the Sleek and Chic Eye Color Palette by Laura Mercier and I barely even touched that. That's so pretty for cool tones. I don't know if you can still get this, but I do want to keep that and play with it because I don't believe I've even touched it. Doesn't look like I have. We've got the KKW Mario palette, and I was actually blown away with the quality of this. I did a like, uh, what do you call it, review tutorial kind of situation on it, and I was actually like so impressed with those shades. So I want to keep that. I'm not sure if you can still get it or not. I have the Urban Decay Naked Cherry, which I'm going to keep. This is a new one. It's kind of neutral, kind of not, but I'm going to keep it in my neutrals drawer because, like, for me, I'd probably use this as a neutral palette even though it's not necessarily super neutral. Put it next to my other naked palette. I have the Carly Bible palette by BH Cosmetics, which is stunning, but I'm pretty sure it's de decontinued. Why do I keep saying, I feel like I keep saying decontinued instead of discontinued. It's so beautiful, but yeah, I'll give that to someone else to enjoy. I did do a tutorial using it on my channel. It's amazing. It's so beautiful. Um, I've also got the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette, which is definitely not super neutral either, but I do like to keep it in my neutral straw because of that top row. So that can stay. I have this in the nude palette by Makeup Geek. I feel like every time I do a declutter, I look at this and I'm like, I should declutter it because I never use it, but it's so freaking pretty. I don't know why I never look at using this. Like, it's so nice. So I'm keeping it and I need to like make a conscious effort to like use it in a video because it's so beautiful like the colors i think you can get a lot of these colors like separately in the singles so that might be why i haven't really reached for it but i feel like it's nice for travel as well i've also got this cute little palette which is going to definitely stay i'm going to keep this in the neutral store as well just because it's kind of like wearable color so this is kind of turning into like a neutral slash wearable wearable drawer rather than like super bright palettes down below i have this saharan by juvia's palette Looks like this, and again, it's got some more neutral shades, so I'm going to keep that. I haven't really played with that yet. Another Anastasia palette. Whoops. What is this? NARS palette. Oh my gosh. So pretty. That is not a highlight. I mean, that is not an eyeshadow palette, though. What is wrong with my brain right now? That's more like highlighters and bronzers and stuff, and that is beautiful. So that can go in the drawer I decluttered the other week on my channel. It's called, I don't know, I'll link it down below, but it's like my highlighter, um like palettes and stuff as well. I have this Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palette which is so luxe and so beautiful. I love it. 
so that's staying a full show. I have this Narcissist Wanted palette, which I used a couple times on my channel and like maybe some live streams and stuff. It's so pretty. I think I'll keep that for now, but it's kind of something I don't reach for a lot anymore. But I'm still like kind of, I don't know, I just don't want to part with it just yet. I loved this palette, but it's well and truly like discontinued now. It's such beautiful colors, but we'll give that to someone else to enjoy. I have this Huda Beauty palette. Is this the rose gold one? Yeah, rose gold edition, um, which is so pretty. I need to use it. I haven't really played with it yet, so I'm going to keep it. I'm just going to grab a handful of palettes and just kind of, you know, go through them. So this one here is by Designer Brands. It's the Shine Bright Face Palette. I remember using this for a first impression and I really liked it. Um, so it does not you know, belong in here and to be honest I've got a lot of other face palettes I've kept recently so I might just declutter that one. Even though I do like it, it's just like a brand that's not as easy to get worldwide so you know, I use it sometimes on my channel but not a whole lot. This is the Coastal Scents Reveal 2 palette. Beautiful, beautiful shades but I'm going to declutter it because I've had it for ages and I just don't reach for it. I'm definitely going to keep my Dominique Latte palette. I love, love, love the colours and they're just amazing quality. I've got this Chi Chi Basic Instinct eyeshadow palette which that's like brand new. I'll declutter that just because it doesn't really scream my name. And then I've got this Makeup Revolution Neutrals 2 palette which is very similar to the Kylie one. I might declutter that. Because there's a different, I think I'll keep this one, the Soph palette, just because there's some cool colours in there that are a little bit more unique. So for Makeup Revolution, I'll keep that. I've got a lot of Makeup Revolution palettes, so I kind of need to like pick and choose which ones I want to like keep. There's some more here, like this one, and what's this one? Life on the Dance Floor. Whoa. I feel like that's just very similar to my um, Naked Cherry and the Kylie palette, and I feel like I've got other colours like that. So I'm going to declutter those ones. I have this Viseart Trist palette, which I'm definitely keeping. It's so beautiful. Um, and I spent like my life savings on this. Not literally, but Viseart's really expensive. So I definitely want to keep that and get my money's worth. I'm just going to like start placing them down, like reorganize this drawer at the end because I'm running out of room. And then this is another Viseart one, which I'm going to keep. Just beautiful, like staple neutrals. This one here is the Jouer Essential Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow palette, which is beautiful as well, but I'm keeping too many. What else is in here? The Katie Cat palette. These are so beautiful. I did a couple of looks using these. Oh, I've got two of them. So I guess I'll just keep one. <laughs> we are going to continue. So this is the Tom Ford Golden Mink palette. It's so beautiful. I can't part with it. I've had this for years. It's probably off, but I don't care. It's so expensive and I just think it's so beautiful. Even though I don't use it very often, I really should. This is the Glamorous Timeless Eyeshadow Palette by Chi Chi beautiful shades. I'm actually going to keep that one. Just I just love, love, love the tones. And it's a nice drugstore one. I'm going to keep this Kylie one, I've decided. We've got the Maneater by Tarte, which I might donate, just because I've got a lot of other similar shades. This is the L'Oreal La Palette Nude Rosé. I might donate it. I don't think I've ever used it. And then I've got this Makeup Forever palette, which looks like this. This is actually really pretty. Do I need it though? I might keep it for now and try to make myself use it. Okay. We have a giant Morphe palette. I just don't use my Morphe palettes very often. I don't know why. I might just declutter it. I remember in my last palette video, I decluttered so many Morphe ones and I still never ended up using this one either. Whoops, I just smashed my camera. I've got the Alaric Pro palette. These are just so pretty. I never use them anymore though, but I just love them so much. I might just keep the original Pro palette. I don't even know if you can still get this. This used to be like raved about on YouTube back in the day. Um, and then I'll donate the other one or throw it away because it's old. Um, I've got the Marble Collection Cool Stone palette. I have used these, the Cool and the Warm Stone. I'm just going to declutter them. I've already used them in a tutorial and they are really nice but I'm running out of room here and there's a lot of other brands I love. So this is one, Smash oh my god, not Smashbox, Sourcebox, the Etude palette. So beautiful and some neutrals that are a little bit different, like a little bit more like grey toned. There is a Mecca Vivid Impact Eye Palette, which I have not tried, but I might declutter it. Because once again, we're running out of room. Got this Scandalist Marc Jacobs Palette. Beautiful shades, but I'm going to declutter it. We've got more. Oh my gosh, so many palettes, you guys. We've got the Reloaded Palette by Makeup Revolution, which is tape shut. I'm just going to donate it. <laughs> I've got so many more to you guys that are like in a box that I haven't even gone through yet. So some of them might ease their way back into my collection. Who knows? Um, we've got this Mellow Sinopia. Not Sinopia. This is so beautiful. I used it in a live stream once and I was blown away. So I'm keeping it. 
a Lila palette. I think I'll put that in the drawer below. The Star palette by Natasha Denona. Stunning, stunning shades. That can stay in this drawer because it is more like wearable color. Um, and then this one here, I don't even know. I think that'll go in my colorful drawer. And then these are new by The Balm. I have no idea if I'm gonna keep these or get rid of them. So this is the volume two. It looks like this. I feel like it's just so good for travel though. Like, don't you reckon like that's just ideal? I'm just gonna open both and just pick one of them, I reckon. This is volume one, and that one's more like rosy tones i don't know which one should i keep i think i might keep this one because it's a little bit different and then i've got this little palette i made myself by makeup forever which i'm going to donate i never use it we have some more little palettes so this was the smashbox oh i can't remember what it's called i had a sponsorship for these ages ago and i really like this one this is my press release oh do i keep it yeah i'm gonna keep that because it's super cute i have this i think this is actually a face palette by makeup geek yeah this is called the flawlessly ever after and it looks like this and I think I might declutter it because I've already got some single blushes by Makeup Geek. We've got a Naked Skin Shapeshifter which I really like. Um, I like the contour shade and the highlight shade but I don't really use like this shit, this side sorry at all. So I think I'm get, gonna get rid of it. Sorry I keep like stuttering. I'm just like, I've had too much coffee and too much pre-workout etc etc and I'm just like blah. Next up we have the Double G Beauty um, by Tarte. Looks like this. I just feel like I've got other stuff like that. The Persona palette. Beautiful shades. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep my little like Charlotte Tilbury and Tom Ford trios and everything. My Busy Art palette. This one's super pretty for travel as well. It looks like this. It's just like the perfect neutrals. And then I'm going to keep my bronze deal palette. I think I might declutter the other one, even though I like them both. I did a video on them recently. I just am getting too carried away again. I think I'll declutter this. Every time I look at it though, I'm just like, oh, I love those shades, but I never use them. The soundtrack by Bare Minerals. Like they're beautiful, but every single time I do a declutter, I'm like, no, I'll use them and I never ever do. And then we've got some little Huda Beauty palette so there's this one and then I've got this coral one and then I've got this like purplish one I feel like oh, I don't know which ones I think I might declutter this one and then I'm gonna I don't know no nah, I'll declutter this one too because there's some because this is like more colorful anyway and then I've got the new amethyst one which I might keep instead and then this one I'll keep in this drawer this is the warm brown and I'm going to donate this Etude House palette because I Never use it once again. We're almost at the end. We're not doing too bad. I've probably got like other palettes floating around, but that's fine. <laughs> For now, we'll just do these and I'll put my others away as I go. This is the new Camel palette, which I'm obsessed with by Natasha Denona. It's so pretty, these colors. Like they're very more, very more, what am I saying? They're very kind of neutral, slightly warm. They're not like super red or super orange or anything like that. Like these are just so flattering. So I definitely want to keep that. And then this one is the Holiday Joya palette, which I already used. I think I might declutter that one because I've kept other similar shades. Then we have the Melt Cosmetics stack of eyeshadows, which I honestly just don't reach for. I really want to try the Melt Cosmetics palette, like the Gemini palette. Um, this I just don't find practical. Like I just can't be bothered with the packaging style. So I think I'll declutter that. We have this um, MAC collection. How do I open? Oh, there we go. This is so beautiful, but I'm just never going to use it. We have the Petite Heat palette by Urban Decay, which do I want to keep? I kind of want to keep that. The colors are so pretty. I don't even know where my Naked Heat palette is. Maybe it's down below. Um, I've got the Naked 3 palette in here, which looks like this. Oh, it's falling out. I might keep that just because I do want to do some more like cool tone looks. And it's really pretty. I have the Spices palette which is so nice for something a little bit warmer, but still like very wearable. I think I'll keep that. I don't even know if you can still get these like Chi Chi palettes or not. Hopefully you can, because they're really good. Oh my God, I can't see. There's more of Michaela's hairs. Um, we have this MAC 9 palette, little mini palette. I'm gonna donate that. We have, oh wait, that's the warm brown. I really that. I've got these Milani like metal eyeshadows, which I'm gonna put in a different drawer. And then last but not least is this MAC um, Fruit Alala eyeshadow palette, which looks like that, which is beautiful, but I've got other similar colors once again. Oh my god, my camera stopped filming and I don't know when. I decluttered my Subculture palette. Um, I haven't even used it. 
but I think that's the one no one likes. I don't know. The Sultry palette's new and I want to keep it. The Master palette by Mario. Beautiful shades, but I might declutter that one. And then we've got the Soft Glam, which is pretty, but I might declutter it. And then the Modern Renaissance. <sighs> I just don't know, because I've kept some other similar ones, but there's some similar shades. I don't know. I might just keep it for now. And then I want to keep the Norvina palette. And this one here I might get rid of as well because I've got a couple of similar shades in my Amrezy palette. So now I'm going to fast forward this and just organize everything so that it's nice and easy to like filter through. Okay, and then the rest of these can just relax down here. They're kind of more like travel palettes anyway. Um, and look how much freaking better that looks. Like, can I rotate my camera a little? Oh my gosh. Now I can just filter through. These are like designed to just kind of like flick back so I can really find what I need. How satisfying is that? So I definitely pulled it that down by probably like half. I think I did it well at today, but when we do the next declutter, my next declutter video, I might have to even like further declutter this because I reckon there's probably some neutral palettes down the bottom we're going to have to go through as well. Um, I do have a little bit of space here for some like other little random eyeshadows, I guess. Like I can move these out of the way, but I don't know. I just want like to keep my collection small. I know it's not small at all, but you know what I mean? Compared to before, it just gets a bit hectic. So I am pretty proud of myself right now. I feel like that was a really good cull. Let me know down below question today. What is your favorite eyeshadow palette of all time? Like ever, I need to know. Mine is obviously this one, but other than that one, um, probably my Amrezy palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit those notifications. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.